Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed all the signs of deviancy. Cognitive instability, unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. It was even afraid to die. The model was clearly defective. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's obviously not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. in the Arctic have reached a new level. Would you a Russian me carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have Shoot. clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, Thanks. has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military... Can I help you? To withdraw. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? So far, there has been no yes. response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll be minute by minute as the situation develops. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Oh, shit. I've never seen him cut over in the room.
and you come with me. Excuse me, do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office!
of forensics. Look at that. A fucking ghost. <laughs> His clone ends up in a dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. Mullard. RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! I'm sorry but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> when a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Do humans dream of mammalian sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise for the depth of thought and originality of this book. Designed by CyberLife, the AI known as Volpe analyzed human centers of interest on social networks for several months before its complex algorithms generated the Listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Hey, you take a look at these samples yet? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? 
That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I'm going to file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this investigation. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.